Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Rodney Scott's secret Eastern Carolina barbecue sauce. That's right, I'm gonna show you exactly what goes in this world famous barbecue sauce. Well, not exactly, exactly, since no real pitmaster would ever reveal all their ingredients. But based on everything Rodney Scott has said about this sauce in interviews and in videos and TV shows, I think this is really, really close. And at the very least, as I like to say, close enough for YouTube. And to get started, we will transfer two cups of distilled white vinegar into this saucepan. Since of course an Eastern Carolina style sauce is based on vinegar. And then to that, Rodney and I like to add some freshly sliced lemon. Okay, no seeds, but we do want everything else. And then to this, we will add the other signature component, pepper. And we'll use several kinds, starting with some freshly ground black pepper followed by one of our favorites, cayenne pepper. We will also toss in some paprika, as well as some ground ancho chili. And if you can't find that, just look for something called chili powder. And if it's a nice dark color, it's probably mostly ancho. And even though that might have a little bit of cumin in it, it will work. But anyway, after the ancho, we'll continue this pepper parade with some chili flakes. And then last but not least, some white pepper, which I'm pretty sure is actually his secret ingredient. And I'm basing that on the fact that I've never heard him mention white pepper in any of the interviews or articles I've seen, which is very suspicious. And then our final ingredient will be some white sugar, which we need to balance all this acidity and peppery heat. And that's it, we'll take a whisk and give this a mix before we head to the stove to place this over medium high heat. And all we need to do is wait for this to start to simmer, at which point we'll give it a stir. And we're not really gonna cook this or reduce it, we are simply waiting for that sugar to dissolve and for those lemon slices to kind of steep in the hot liquid. So what we'll do once that has come to a simmer is simply turn off the heat. And believe it or not, that's it. We are done. Oh yeah, not only is this one of the best barbecue sauces ever, especially for Carolina style barbecued whole hog, which by the way, I'm gonna show you next, but it's also probably the easiest barbecue sauce ever. And then what we'll do is let this cool down a little bit before we bottle it. And while we're waiting, let me grab a spoon so you can get a good look at this sauce's absolutely gorgeous color. And feel free to taste it if you want, but it really isn't something you're gonna enjoy on its own. Okay, this is specially and specifically designed to be drizzled over some very fatty, very succulent, very delicious pulled pork or other barbecued pork preparations. And we will get into the amazing flavor soon, but for now, I'm gonna use a funnel to transfer it into this bottle, which is supposed to be for olive oil, but I thought it would look nice in the pictures, so I went with it. And what's so interesting about this sauce is that even though it's much thinner, it kind of sort of looks like a regular barbecue sauce. And regular is probably not the right word. What I mean is it's the same color as the barbecue sauces you might be more familiar with. But since it doesn't have any tomato or molasses or brown sugar, it is completely different in flavor. But anyway, I finished up with that rather bulbous bottling. And I popped on the cork and took a few pictures. And that's it. My best guess at Rodney Scott's secret Eastern Carolina barbecue sauce was ready to enjoy. And there is really only one proper way to do that. Drizzled over some authentic Carolina style whole hog barbecued pork, which is really hard to do without a whole hog or a barbecue pit. But in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. And if you've never had barbecued pork made with cuts from all over the hog, you have never actually had barbecued pork. Or you've probably had barbecued pulled pork shoulder, which is good. But this, my friends, is an entirely different experience altogether. But anyway, we'll get into my miniaturized whole hog barbecue in the next video. For now, I want to focus on this absolutely perfect barbecue sauce meat pairing, which you have to taste for yourself to believe. All right, the marriage between that fatty, faintly smoky, succulent meat and that bracing, very acidic, very peppery sauce is nothing short of magical. And yes, made with the ingredients I'm gonna list for this recipe, it is very, very peppery and fairly spicy, but obviously you can adapt that to your own taste. I mean, you are after all the Rodney Scott of what should go in this and what should not. But for me, especially on this pulled pork, the seasoning level I thought was perfect. And no, the sweet bread and butter pickles I served this with were not just a prop. Okay, because this sauce is so acidic and peppery, I think those cold, crunchy, sweet bites are a perfect palate cleanser. And they really do a great job of resetting your mouth for the next few bites. 
And as you probably noticed, this is a very thin sauce, although some people do thicken it. In fact, Rodney Scott's bottled version, which you can buy at the store and I believe online, is actually thickened up a little bit, although I'm not exactly sure why. And if you did thicken this up with something like cornstarch or arrowroot or xanthan gum, it would actually sort of sit on top of the meat and it really wouldn't penetrate down through like I want it to. Oh, and let me give you one critical tip before we finish up here. As this sauce sits, all the peppery goodness is going to settle to the bottom. Are right, you see that? So before every use, it's very important we give it the old shake a to make sure everything gets mixed up before we use it. Oh, and speaking of shaking, this bottle was just for the pictures, and you really should transfer this into a plastic squeeze bottle instead, which I did here with the last of the sauce from the pan. And I'm only showing you this so I can tease for one last time the upcoming Carolina-style whole hog barbecued pork without having to use an entire whole hog. So please stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I really do hope you give this incredible, delicious, and extremely easy barbecue sauce a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always...